so swim is officially done I'm now dry luckily I've brought my dry robe because like an absolute donut I uh, totally forgot the towel version uh, of my dry robe that you kind of see me do all my cold plunges in um, yeah totally uh, left that in the house and uh, any sort of towel <laughs> and uh, yeah good <laughs> so drying was easy uh, was interesting should I say um, my hands and feet are absolutely throbbing red raw at the moment um, it is Baltic I've got I currently got pins and needles in my feet uh, and so on but um, yeah job done ended up doing um, just over 30 minutes I think it was about 33 minutes and um, yeah literally um, in regards to the distance it's just over a thousand meters I think um, what was really interesting as always is going from right to left um, was averaging about 137 per 100 meters um, the same in reverse um, at one point just after B5 there's a little rip now to get through that I was averaging about 330 at that point and then got a little quicker and pushed it to 250 but it just shows um, the strength of the current here in uh, Whitmore Bay and how tough it can be so it's something to take into consideration when you're swimming now what's also really important and um, something to take into consideration is that panic induced fear that people can have when swimming and feeling like they're not getting anywhere sometimes when I say um, to athletes when they're training is to focus on the time that they go in the sea not the distance that they go in the sea because in a pool you can quite easily go right going in a uh, going for a swim in a pool uh, I'm gonna swim 2k you know get a pool swim 2k job done and so on, so on and so forth and actually when you get in the sea some days it can look incredibly calm like it does today uh, however the the current can be incredibly strong so if I show you how calm the sea is today um, you'll understand that that difference is is huge so if you look at the bay from this perspective just like that okay we've got if you can see on that kind of point over there right that little rip on the corner okay and then you can see the current coming this way across the beach now naturally the tide's coming out at the moment so it's going to keep draining from this side over here and it's a little deeper this side okay and then it will eventually kind of suck out to where you can see the line going across which is the S stream the current outside the bay now in that S stream it's incredibly fast it's also incredibly dangerous for those who um, don't know what they're doing uh, and stuff I've taken people out there I've swam out there and, and so on and so forth but kind of going around the points both both on Nell's point around there and round here into Waxtile Bay um, and stuff but it you need to be a very kind of skilled waterman to know what you're doing to kind of stay safe in those environments now uh, a lot of people that I've coached that have come in open water with me and, and so on and so forth when they feel like they're stuck in one point like they're on a treadmill um, they start panicking because they're not getting anywhere they're not making any progress and so on so then they stop and what happens is they're swimming they're swimming they're swimming they stop and the current takes them back you know and then they swim they swim they swim they stop and their currents come back in those moments they have to, you have to realize that you're you want a treadmill at that moment right so when you're swimming and kind of really getting that um, kind of 
pushing through that moment you've got to understand right what is the water doing how can i get through this um, and generally that's when if you cut it through an angle kind of like i always like to envision like a piece of french bread you always cut those on an angle just because you get a cleaner cut and it's the same with um this water if you kind of go against it then naturally it's going to kick your ass because you're going head on whereas if you go slightly off it's going to brush through and you're going to get a better angle and you're going to get a better speed knowing those kind of angles and, and zigzagging through or taking a longer curved angle as you're swimming is far greater because um, yes you might cover more distance but you're going to conserve energy and you're going to be working with the water instead of against it so it's those moments where don't let your eyes get the better of you and uh, try and manage those expectations and those uh, perspectives you know because um, the moment fear starts creeping in that's when um, it's going to really take take a hold of you you know um, i like to keep things simple and kind of have that kind of yes no drop box menu you know and same with people when when they're tired and they're first starting out it's like oh well i'm really tired i can't breathe i can't do this and then they start going into that panic it's like well why are you tired well you're swimming what is swimming exercising are you tired when you when you run when you cycle for example all these little things kind of reassure you that like it's normal to be out of breath so then when you're swimming it's completely normal to be out of breath when you're swimming so relaxing giving yourself that time will then allow you to relax into it because i think when you tense up you kind of become like this rock and this heavy object and you kind of sink whereas like if you're nice and relaxed you're kind of like this flowy kind of mermaid tail if you will that is going to really help you in that water right but um yeah if you have any questions in regards to uh, some of the things i've touched on in regards to open water uh, and stuff then by all means ask away uh, to give you a bit of context i'm a I'm an open water swimming coach um, for I've been qualified for Wales and um, as, a, as a British um, swimming coach a British triathlon coach level three uh, which is the highest um, and I've, I've I've swam here for years and years and years I've, I've coached people to swim the English Channel and um, and literally you name it from coaching lifeguards here coaching athletes here uh, to coaching people doing um, other things that involve water as well um, you name it so if you have those questions by all means answer, uh, ask me away in the comment section and I'll do my very best to either make you guys a video answering those questions or um, asking them, answering them in the comment section right otherwise um, hope you've enjoyed the video hope you have had an amazing week thank you for for following along this week um i hope it's been interesting for you i hope it's given you a bit of insight and um with with time and a bit of patience i'm sure i can get the videos better and better each week all right have an amazing day take care and i'll see you again soon please if you can hit that subscribe button uh like the video if you if you like it and uh yeah let me know all your thoughts and feelings in the comment section okay take care